Hello everyone, I'm Mira and welcome to the first episode of Steven Universe Speculation. This is going to be the first video in a new series that tackles various questions in Steven Universe that have no clear answer yet. This differs from theories because everything discussed in these videos will have little to no evidence to back them up. Also, there will be a new narrator each time. If you want to become a narrator, wait until the end of the video for more details. With that being said, let's get started. Today, we are going to focus on Sardonyx, a new gem to be revealed in the third Steven Bomb. The only thing we know about her is her name. At this point, Sardonyx can be almost anything. Let's go over all the possibilities. To start off, the gem Sardonyx is most commonly orange with white bands. Jasper happens to be orange, which leads many to believe that this new gem is a fusion of Jasper and another gem. Many speculate this to be a fusion with Peridot, but in reality, this is unlikely. As Malachite, a fusion of Jasper and Lapis Lazuli seems to be losing herself, and she might become a permanent fusion. However, Peridot and Sardonyx are both August birthstones, which does give them a slight relation to one another. Another thing that Sardonyx could be is the combination of Pearl and Garnet, which has been long awaited. To finally see these two fuse would be pretty cool, although from appearances alone, Sardonyx may not be the best fit for these two. Perhaps Sardonyx is a forced fusion, or cluster, created by Peridot. This seems like a huge possibility, as we know that Peridot has gotten some of the gem shards to fuse successfully already. The fusion experiments are developing properly. A few have even emerged early. <laughs> and they appear to be a huge threat to the crystal gems. Or maybe it is a gem that Steven heals, most notably Centipedal. However, the picture shows the color of Sardonyx to be orange, which does not match up with the bright green of Centipedal. Another possibility, although very unlikely, is that Sardonyx is the gem carved into the temple. But it would be surprising to see that incredible gem so early in the series, if we see it at all. There was also that gem seen in Sworn to the Sword a few times, which looks like Jasper, but may in fact be a different gem that will be significant in the future. This one does not seem very likely, but we can't count it out just yet. And finally, Sardonyx could be a new gem. This is entirely possible, although many people would prefer if Sardonyx was a gem we already knew in some shape or form. And that pretty much covers all the possible things Sardonyx could be. Which one do you think Sardonyx is? Or do you think it's something completely different? Make sure to write that down in the comments. The creators of the show have always made things exciting, and hopefully, the week of Sardonyx is no exception. Thank you for watching, and more details will follow shortly about becoming a narrator, like me. Thank you, Mira, for being an excellent narrator to begin the series off with. This is Cartoon Universe, and I would like to thank you guys for watching the first episode of my Steven Universe Speculation series. To become a narrator like Mira, just send me a message via YouTube, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you do not have any prior videos where you narrate or record your voice in, I would be happy to supply you with something to read. Anyone is free to become a narrator, so if you want to be in one of these videos, now is the chance. Thank you for watching. To see more of these videos come out at a faster rate, or you really want a specific video to be made, donate to my Patreon account. Also, like and subscribe to keep up my latest videos. See you next time, speculators! To start off, the gem Sardonyx is most commonly orange with white bands. Jasper happens to be orange, which leads many to believe that this new gem, the this, the 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 the, the that this, that, this, <sighs> okay. Are you kidding me? Is that thunder? Shut up, Sky. Why do you have to rain at the worst time? Let me fix my headphones again. Oh, uh, uh, they're falling around and stuff. Whew. Stupid headphones.
To start off, the Jim Sardonyx is most commonly orange with white bands. Jasper happens to be orange, which leads many to believe that this is this is the 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 blah 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 freaking tongue twister here that this I hate the the those two words together just don't work. <laughs> many speculate this to be a fusion with Peridot, but in reality, this is unlikely, as Malachite, who is a clear dies on the inside. Oh my god. <laughs> my voice is so weird there. This seems like a huge possib possi possibility. Are you... Oh, okay. Face palm. Mm. That was a weird pause. Why do I have to be a perfectionist and re-record these every five seconds? Another thing that sardonyx could be, could I draw my phone, which I'm reading the script from. Uh huh, on my phone. This is why you get the head, the actual headphones, kids, and not earbuds, because these don't work right. Oh, blah, blah, they don't stay when you're trying to record stuff. Or maybe it's a gem that Stephen heals, most notably centipedal. However, the picture shows the color of sardonyx to be orange, which does not match up with the bright green of the centipedal. It does not match with the bright green of the centipedal. The centipedal. Centipedal. My Texas accent does not want to say centipedal right. It just wants to say centipedal. Centipedal. Okay. <laughs> the cons of living in Texas. One of the many. Uh... Dang, my mic thought it was a great idea to just stop recording. Oh my... Bleh. Oh, I burped. Oh god, that's so awkward. Yeah. Oh, let's start this again. Where was I?